Hi, hello everyone. My name is Jack Lee. I'm the lecturer of public services at Highbury College. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about myself and my background, talk about the course itself, talk about what we do on it and the sort of people that we're looking forward to join the college and do this course. Um, so a bit about me then. Um, I'm lucky that I've actually studied the course myself when I was younger. So I did it after I finished school. I didn't particularly get on well in school and I wasn't the most academic student. Um, and then I found that on the course I could really sort of flourish and do well on it because it's a completely different style of learning which is what I'll go into in a bit later on. Uh, once I finished college, I then decided that I wanted to go to university um, and study a, a degree in PE teaching, which is something that had never actually crossed my mind before, but college had given me that confidence to go on and do that. And then upon leaving uh, university, I enlisted in the Royal Marines and I spent five years serving as a Royal Marines commando, which was something that I'd always planned to do my entire life. It was my real sort of life ambition. Um, and I generally believe that the public services degree was what got me going uh, onto that sort of path. Um, so about the course itself, like I said, the course isn't similar to what you've probably done at GCSE or at school. Um, the course is a mix of in the classroom, doing things practically outside or in the sports hall and getting to go on trips, going places and exploring and learning. Um, so within the classroom, we've got modules with things like um, citizenship and diversity, where we talk about different laws that are in the country. We talk about the different um, rules and regulations of the public services or the behaviour that might be accepted within the services and things that aren't accepted, learning from lessons in the past. But then we also have the practical side of it, which is personally my favourite bit of it. And I know the majority of the students really enjoy it. And that's where we get to do all the fitness testing. So we get to find out what levels of fitness are required for each public service. Um, and then we're finding out where we need to get to as individuals if we're trying to get into the services. We do that with circuit training. We do that going on runs. We do that by playing a lot of sport and just being active because the public services roles, you know, you don't have days where they're exactly the same. They're always different. But one thing that is common is that you always need to be sort of on your game. You need to be fit, you need to be healthy. And that's something that we want to improve um, and get going from the start within your college careers. Um, now the type of per the sort of person that we're looking for on this course, the person that we're hoping would want to come into Highbury and do this course, is of course somebody who wants to go in the services or the um, armed forces, the fire brigade, the paramedics, any sort of job role that requires you to have authority, to have confidence. You're gonna be wearing a uniform, perhaps dealing with the public, and it's just important that you've got something about you that's a bit different from everyone else. And that's something that we can install in you on the course if you don't already have it. Um, now the course itself, what we're looking for is just people to come in and treat it as a bit of a, a blank canvas, maybe a fresh start from school, a, um, an opportunity for them to learn something that they've never covered before. And all I ask from people is that they come in and try their best. You know, I've mentioned things like the fitness testing, at no point do I expect everyone to come in and be running four minute miles, be absolute marathon runners and things like that. All I want to see is that people come in, that they try and that they allow me to help them improve as the course moves on. All right. Um, so the way that we achieve the lessons and I spoke about doing a classroom and going into you know, the practical lessons that we do. We also do a lot of um, off site things because I always think that's a great opportunity for us to learn is by going to the public services themselves and seeing what it is they do. Um, so stuff that trips that the past students have experienced. Uh, they went to the Royal, um, the, sorry, the Royal Police School of Policing, and it was where they learned to um, study what the military police do across all sort of tri-service military. But they also got to have experience things like um, indoor shooting ranges, which is electronic, so not real rounds, unfortunately. Um, they got to do fitness testing. They got to do things like that. We've also had um, students where they've gone off site to uh, the fire service, uh, Hampshire Fire Police Service headquarters. And they're doing things like putting out fires, learning about the police's role in a bit more depth. Um, and from my background, we go and do things with um, the Royal Marines down at Limston, where we go for a couple of days, do training with them, get your fitness up, find out fully what it is and sort of submerging yourself in the Royal Marines world for a few days. Um, but the whole purpose of the course is that we get as many trips as we can. We get as many different speakers to come in and just talk about their services so that you can learn about everything. Because quite often what you'll find is that people join this course and they think, well, I want to be a policeman. I only ever wanted to be a policeman since I was yay high. And then after two years of the course, they think, wow, I learned so much about the fire brigade. That's what I want to do now. And it's really common that happens. So it's just a great opportunity for everyone to learn about different services, learn about different forces and see what it is you want to do afterwards. Um, like I say, university is another option that you can do after the course. I did it myself. Students at the moment are going on to university. Um, you find that when you go for your UCAS application, when you're talking to um, university recruitment people, even if you're going like what I did, transfer from public services to a sport course, they still think, well, this person studied something that's very different to what most people study at this point. It's very interesting. There's a lot to talk about. There's um, 
sort of multiple doors and windows that it can open for you if you do this course. Um, and the final thing we'll talk about, the type of modules that we sort of do. So the modules are very varied. We've got things like the fitness testing and the um, citizenship, which I mentioned at the start, but then that can go all the way through to things like communication, where we're learning how the public services would talk properly to each other, learning about radio control, learning about VP, voice procedure, um, things like major incidents. So when there's a big, um, you know, perhaps a terrorist attack or some sort of major incident, we learn how the public services would work together. So that could be the fire brigade, the police, perhaps even the military, and they find out and um, they work through each other and work as a sort of combined system. Um, and again, it just gives you great insight into things that you really wouldn't know about uh, unless you did the course. Um, so if anyone's got any more things you'd like to find out about the course, on the website we have got plenty of information. Um, there's a fly and start program which will give you some really good knowledge about what to expect before the course starts. Um, it's also got my contact details on there which is jack.lee at hybrid.ac.uk and I'm more than happy to take emails and advise anyone of anything they want to do. Um, but other than that, I look forward to seeing people in September.